At a time when experts are debating on how to save the rupee from free fall, the possibility of an American offensive on Syria has exacerbated the crisis. As far as experts are concerned, the crisis in the Middle East and Washington is contemplating an attack on the country. Crude prices are likely to rise further. The rupee, which has plunged over 10% so far in August, plunged to yet another fresh low of 68 against the US dollar following these fears. Rising international crude oil prices have taken India's cost of importing oil beyond a historic high of rupees 7,000 per barrel, which is weighing heavily on state-run firms. And I want to make clear uh, that the options that we are considering are not about regime change. They are about responding to a clear violation of an international standard that prohibits the use of chemical weapons. And a barrel of crude oil which India imported for rupees 5,500 per barrel in 2013 now costs 27 percent more it's come to about 7000 rupee per barrel in august that's the kind of impact the crisis in the middle east is having with oil companies fearing international crude prices to rise they are demanding a fuel price hike there are indications that there might be a rupee five rise uh, or rupee three rise on diesel prices after the monsoon session is over. If that be the case, the fuel shock is going to look as follows. With a possible three rupee hike, the prices in top five cities is going to look very, very different. A three percent or a rather three rupee rise is likely to be seen. And this is reminiscent of what many are saying happened in 1991 when the balance of payments and the crisis that followed after the Iraqi invasion of Kuwait. And now many are saying that the Syrian crisis fallout could see another diesel price hike because of the rise of the price of oil in India. Ravi Mathani, stock analyst, joins us from Mumbai. Uh, Mr. Mathani, my first question to you is that experts, and they differ on this point, they're making a direct link between what is happening in the Middle East, the Syrian crisis, and if there is an all-out war, which Washington is giving an indication of, then the prices of oil, petrol and diesel in the country is going to rise, and it is ultimately going to affect the common man. Would you agree with that point of view? Absolutely. I agree to this fact that uh, you know, oil prices are rising on daily basis. It is a bigger concern for Indian equities as well as for the Indian markets as well as for the common man too. You know, I would like to explain why these uh, rallies, you know, uh, all of a sudden the dollar has jumped from 62 to 69. There is a reason behind it. You know, uh, dollar versus a rupee, it's, an, it's a tradable equity, you know, in your tradable instrument on Indian derivative market. And you know, majority of the Indian traders or uh, the investors were short on, uh, you know, at the price of 62 to 63. And today, being the expiry of this month, you know, of the instrument, you know, it forcefully it had to cover their contracts, you know, the cover their short positions, and that is the reason the dollar climbed from 63 to 68, 69 in just a day or two. Now, what is going to happen in a day? You know, I'm expecting as expiry is gone by. Within a day or two, we will certainly settle down and we will settle around 62 and 63. At that time, I expect Indian government to, you know, intervene and do something for the government so that the prices come down. You know, I'm expecting some market news from the RBI from Monday morning or Tuesday to do something with regards to stock markets are concerned. Also, Ravi, as far as uh, the uh, festive season is concerned, now there are several concerns. Commodities have already become expensive and now there is a sense that come mid-September, after that, the stock that is already available will be over and after that is when the common man is going to feel the most severest pinch. See, this is the bad fact of life that a common man has to have a pinch and this is becoming bigger and bigger day by day. Uh, because no matter I may give you the reason that markets were short or you know Indian equities were doing very bad you know commodities a uh, pursue specifically oil you know which is killing the Indian investors or the common man uh, the trend on charts if I talk just technical reasons as per the markets are concerned it is not showing any signs of coming down you know we are expecting dollar as well as the crude to go up and today the Brent crude is around 115 we are expecting the target of 120 to 21 
and unless and if this scenario the globally you know uh, i have heard about the crisis happening the war and all those things if these things come into picture then certainly the things will be much worse what are we expecting as of now and finally no, uh, finally when we look at uh, uh, not just uh, the crisis in syria but many are making the comparison to what happened in 1991 do you see things are going to be as bad as they were back then or this time around we are perhaps in a better position to handle the crisis see at this stage uh, certainly the crises are uh, very bad and the 1991 history i don't think that is possible so soon um, it's just you know we are in a panicky situation right now and uh, going forward after a quarter or so we are headed towards the elections so that's a reason you know the the market movements are highly volatile highly panicky at the certain stages that you know uh, just think about okay squaring off all the positions you know just a, a, a small bad news and the positions are squared off so the volatility in the market is giving us this pressure i think in a in a day in a week or so we will settle down and we will see some consolidation days and then from there we will be can again see the problem here is the liquidity crunch if fii is they start pulling out money from the indian markets or from the uh, and start investing in equity commodities then there will be a larger problem for us